Hi everyone, I'm Dynamite. For today's video, I'm going to be playing around with some new makeup products that I recently got in. And I'm hoping that I can apply some techniques that I picked up over the past couple weeks. At the end of this video, I'm going to throw my own two cents in and let everyone know who I hope ends up in the top three for RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6. Hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to see all of my content, and hit the notification button so you know when new videos are being posted. New videos will be coming out every Sunday, sometime before midnight. I've glued down my eyebrows and powdered them, and put foundation over top, so that way I could save us all a little bit of time. The first thing that I'm going to do this time around is start carving out the crease in my eyes. And to do that, I'm going to use a light brown. And if I need to go any darker, I can do that. And I think I'm happy with that. That crease, if you've watched my latest video, I picked up from Silky Ganache. Silky Not My Ganache is not one of my favorite queens and not somebody who I'm thrilled to see back for All-Star Season 6. But I am hoping that she gets in a fight with Yuriko O'Hara. So I am gonna just go over that again a little bit with a slightly darker brown just to clean those lines up. Now I'm going to go in for the wing of my eye, and for this I'm going to use, I don't know what color I'm going to use yet. Surprise, surprise, I'm going to use purple. It's kind of fitting that I'm sticking with some classic colors of mine because I am trying to redesign my drag right now a little bit, so hopefully this all turns out for the best. I'm just going to apply a bit of powder in the corners of my eyes to catch any fall away. There we go, so now to start adding some color and uh, shape to those eyes. We all know I like a big wing. Those are some dark purple wings. I want to lighten my eyes up quite a bit, so I'm going to take some pink again, as I do. I'm going to take the brush I used on my brown and try to blend that purple and pink together a little bit better. It's kind of working looking much more blended there than it is on this side. Foolish me, that brown crease could have been a purple crease and that would have saved me a bit of time. I'm gonna add wings to my eyes with some black eyeliner. Back to All Star 6, I am really excited to see Akira back, Ginger Minge. I'm definitely really excited for Jiggly, and I'm very excited for Kylie. I know she's gotten herself in some trouble um, mocking Asian culture, which I do not condone by any means. However, I think people say and do stupid things because we're all human beings, and I'm hoping that there's a lot more to judge her off of than just that one moment. I 
have an outline that I want to work with. So I'm going to go ahead and fill in the black. And then I can put on some eyebrows. Now that I have my eyeliner done on the top of my eyes, I'm going to fill in my eyelids. And uh, to do that, I'm gonna use my white concealer and just fill in those little half moons. Yes, that is looking good. I'm fucking stoked to see what my face is gonna look like when I'm done. I'm almost done all the hard parts except for my eyebrows, which is coming up next. And before I get carried away with anything else, I'm going to take what I will now call a Canadian smoke break, and I'll be back to draw on my eyebrows. Eyebrows can be a real pain in the ass. So I'm really hoping that I don't mess this up. And don't fuck it up. I have a lot of real estate on my forehead, so I'm gonna try to make them a little sharp and angled without pulling them away too far from the uh, eyeshadow on my face. I like this brow a lot. This brow's gotta go. This is why we don't use permanent marker to draw our eyebrows on our face. It's like that eyebrow never even happened. Drawing on my right eyebrow, take two. I guess that's looking a little bit better. Those eyebrows are looking really dark, so I'm going to lighten them up with a bit of foundation and texture them and such to hopefully make them look more like real eyebrows. And they're still dark as shit. I'm gonna highlight underneath my eyebrows now, which should really add a bit of dimension to the eyes and then make the eyebrows pop and not look so two dimensional. There we go, my eyebrows are finally done. I guess I can get rid of this. My eyebrows are finally done and I can contour my face, which 
is my favorite part. So applying foundation, and getting right to it. I'm all nicely coated in foundation, so I can go ahead and contour now. I don't know if I really want to do much different with my contour. I'm just gonna start with my swoop. Darken my contour up in the deep spots. Now I will go ahead and start adding some highlight to my face. I'm gonna add some blush to my face. Pinks and oranges and purples. So I'm gonna powder my face now and let it cook for a bit while I take another short break. And when I come back, I can apply some lip color and I, and I think that's it. Yeah. And now we bake. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of all of that powder and start my finishing touch-ups and my lips. My face is looking a lot smoother. I have a bunch of new lip liners and I haven't quite decided what color I'm gonna go for my lip. Typically, I do that uh, good old hooker red. So, normally hooker red, but I'm thinking of doing either like a light pink or a purple. I have uh, some new lipsticks um, or lip, liquid lip color. I just had a stroke. I think I'm gonna go with purple. Purple lips, here we go. Being in front of a camera is not my comfort zone so much as being in front of an audience. I definitely prefer when I'm with people and interacting, get to talk and touch and all that fun stuff that COVID ruined for us over the past 
year and a half. Dare I say that's the best my lips have ever looked. Mm. Touch up time. I made it this far and I just realized that I haven't put eyeliner under my eyes. So I'll be doing that after I finish touching up the eyeliner on the top. Oh, let's pray that I don't fuck things up now. and a wig and some sort of top and I'll be back with the final look see you all soon I just can't get over how womanly I look I feel so gorgeous like oh boy oh boy oh boy and there we have it the final look I had a lot of fun doing this face. I am really proud of how it turned out. I think I definitely know some tricks that I want to try moving forward with my drag career. I guess you could say I am a part-time professional drag queen. I do perform, have performed, and will perform again once COVID lightens up and we can get back out on stage. I did say that I would be mentioning who I want to make it in the top three of RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 6. So my top three hopefuls are Yara Sophia, Yuriko O'Hara, and Trinity K. Bonet. It would be really nice to see Eureka up there and as a winner she would be a great representation for the big girls. Trinity has come a long way and it'll be really nice to see her come back. We've gotten to see her glow up on Instagram and various YouTube videos, but it'll be nice for her to come back from Season 6 to All Stars Season 6 and really show us what she's got. And lastly, Yara Sophia. This is a queen who I've always been inspired by. I have seen pictures of her before I even started watching RuPaul's Drag Race. Um, her and Nina Flowers actually were two queens that I saw through the internet and just through like alternative art and modeling and I'm really excited to see her come back. I'm a big fan of her edgy style, so it'll be really cool. I'm looking forward to making more videos. When I come back next time, I will be doing some looks based off of things that I've seen from Transformations with James St. James. And until then, please like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.